the Tri-State's most accurate forecast. This is 9 on your side. Family, friends, and strangers praying tonight for a new Ohio State trooper working an accident hit by an out-of-control car on a snowy highway. Trooper Brent Hill had been on the job fewer than three weeks. He was so new, he was working with his field training officer at a crash site in Warren County when suddenly he became a victim. Right now, he's in the hospital with serious injuries. Night on Your Side is staying on top of this story. We begin with Jay Warren, live at Miami Valley Hospital, gathering new information on Hill's condition. Jay? Well, Carol, we've learned that uh, surgeons had planned to operate on Hill this morning, but that was postponed until 2.30. At last check, he was in surgery. Uh, we can tell you that the Ohio Highway Patrol says that he suffered head trauma as well as injuries to his leg, and that is what the surgery was for. His condition is officially listed as critical but stable. Now, I spoke to his lieutenant about an hour ago, and he said that Trooper Hill was able to follow some commands before entering surgery. Now, it was around 11 o'clock last night when Hill was struck by a driver, Andrew Combs. Trooper Hill was investigating an alleged drunk driver, Victoria Zagman of Westchester, who had lost control and gone off the road. She's since been charged with failure to control and operating a vehicle after underage consumption. Now, troopers say that Andrew Combs was neither speeding nor drinking and is cooperating with this investigation. Now, once again, Trooper Hill, at last check, was in surgery, is listed in critical but stable condition, was able to follow some commands before going into the operating room. Jay Warren, 9 on your side, Miami Valley Hospital, Dayton. All right, Jay, thanks. And we're going to continue Trooper Hill's story. He graduated from the Patrol Academy February 8th, just under three weeks ago. He's one of the 81 cadets in this class photo. Trooper Hill was one of six graduates who won special honors, in his case, top performance in firearms. This comes as no surprise to his former teachers in Franklin. Nine on Your Side reporter Michaela White spent the day in the trooper's hometown, and she is live with what she's learned about him. Michaela? Clyde Hill's friends and former teachers were shocked to hear that he had been involved in this accident, but they say he was the type that would put his life on the line to make sure others stay safe. Hill went to school at Franklin High School eight years ago in 2005 and was an athlete. Some of the staff who taught Hill showed me around the hallways where his senior photo is still on display. His study hall teacher, Linda Schaefer, said he was quiet but studious. He was one of those kids that she knew was going to do good things. His math teacher, Carol Shively, also remembered her, remembers her time with him very well. He was just an upright kind of kid, the kind that always did the right thing, very polite and mannerly, always had a smile on his face. He was a wee bit shy, but once you got to know him, he would, you know, open up and clown around a little bit with you, but I'm just an overall good person. And in addition to being a good person and a good student, Hill also played freshman basketball and JV soccer at that high school. Michaelia White, not on your side, live in Lebanon. Thanks, Michaelia, for filling in some blanks about Trooper.